Hey guys, this is Amishani99 and welcome to my Pokemon Sapphire Let's Play Part 4. Uh, this is a new intro just because... Well, I felt that it needed an intro, so I've just taken the game's introduction and stuck it on. And hopefully you like it. I, 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 quite, I quite like it. And, yeah. So let's get on with the game then. Uh, last time I left you, we were, I was about to do the uh, Team Aqua event. Uh, with my new team members, uh, team member Heather the Taylor. So, anyway, um, you gotta talk to that guy who's Doc, and he will be you to go and f find Captain Stern. Well, he's in the museum, which I just missed the name of. Um, you have to pay 50 Poké Dollars, but you can get in. And you get TM46 from that at Grunt, and you can guess what TM that is. It's TM46 Thief, and he was the thief from Rustboro City. Anyway, I take this time to teach Feather Steel Wing, and I replace Growl. No, I replace Focus Energy, even. What am I thinking? You already replaced Growl with Wing Attack. <laughs> anyway, I switch up my team, put Feather up front, because Feather really can boss a lot of Pokemon, really, at this point in the game. And future game, you know, in the game really. <coughs> See, look at this, right? Wing attack. Half HP. I mean, that's quite good. Screwing it's two levels lower. Two levels lower. Anyway, it takes it down, no problem. And you grows a level, so that's a good start for Feather. And Feather will be taking apart the next gym, because, of course, he's a flying type. And whoever the next gym is, you know, a uh, fighting type. So, anyway, I, I, I hate you get some arsenal moves. Who's stealing there? He's quick attack before it. I think I go for quick, yeah, I go for quick attack again on the Zulak. And this time I'm level 14. And then he sends in a Carvana. And I just take it down with wing attack. Again, two good wing attacks do the trick. Oh, I use a peck second time. Ooh, that's interesting. I'm nearly level 15 as well. And that's Archie, the easy Marqua leader. So he's like, why do you meddle in Team Marqua? People want to see, want to see, so we are going to, to expand it. You don't understand our ideals. Blah, 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 etc, etc. So Captain, I've saved Captain Stern and the uh, stuff which I gave to him, 11 goods. Uh, I've saved it twice now. And finally, we can go on to the gym. Which... Is a good thing. In Emerald, you will be approached by Scott before you can do anything after you exit. The museum. Anyway, we're gonna head off to Jufort Town. Do I act special and then do I do I do trying to use the pause in a minute, which is not funny at all. Ta-da! Yeah, because editing is special. So anyway, that is special editing, not good editing. So anyway, this is the different. It's different to Emerald. You know, there's only three gym trainers in here. In Emerald, there's like five or six. Not exactly powerful though. Anyway, this is a Meditite, Psychic and Fighting type, and probably will have one in Emerald. It doesn't in Ruby and Sapphire, which is interesting. Um, because I don't know really why it's interesting. It's just that Emeralds, they've all got more Pokemon in Emerald. And I've seen that in the three gyms I've faced so far. Yeah, I faced three gyms uh, because I've gone on ahead and filmed um, as far as. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not I'm used to the Emerald puzzle, I'm not used to the Ruby and Sapphire puzzle, so I'm... I don't know what I'm doing here. Really. This is pre... I've filmed ahead and doing the commentary afterwards. Um, I've done 
first three gems. Um, the problem is that's in seven episodes I've done the first three gems, so I have slowed it down after episode five. In episode six and seven, it is slowed down to just a hundred percent. We don't increase the videos length. Of, well, not the length of videos, but the amount of videos I'm doing. It will increase the amount I'm doing, which is nice for me. I really think that I could do with a few more episodes. Because frankly, most people are on episode like 15 to 20, maybe even 20 something, by the time they get to here. I'm on episode 7, so I need to really just add a few more episodes to it. So I may just do like a training episode. Because you know, I can, really, I've got the time. <laughs> and I have to actually make up for that time. Where I've just been, you know, I've because I've just got every, um, I've done the first three gyms, I need to add them in seven episodes, which is a bit too quick for my liking. So I'm gonna add a lot of episodes on, uh, which means, you know, because I've been filming, well, by more episodes, I mean, I'll be filming less in the same amount of time. So in 15 minutes, I'll have done film less than I would have done in like episode one where I did from Little Town to Rustboro Town which is a, a lot. So anyway I get a revival for Beth and a boo gives me a full heal and I save ahead of the fight with Broly. He's only got two Pokemon in Ruby and Sapphire. So I think Emerald is definitely more challenging because you have to face three Pokemon in the first and second gym. Anyway, he starts off with Machop, it's not the greatest. I mean, look at Machop, although that is a lot of damage, that's 22 damage. Now, I think I can swap, I, I'm not going to risk Feather, and I swap into Pedro. I, what my aim was, was to heal um, up Feather, and I do do that. And it goes for a sand attack. Now, I actually, you know, decide... I can do this. It's doing 5 damage with every single one of those arm oh, thrust hits. Which is mm, not too bad actually. I mean sure if it hits 5 times, it will do 25 damage, which is a lot of damage. Now I get really, really lucky in a minute. I think it's this bit. Yeah, no, it's the next bit. The next hit I do with my shot. I get very lucky. Yeah, critical hit. If I didn't get that critical, he probably would have taken me out of this turn. But, he didn't, and Pedro gets some experience. As well as, you know, Heather, who I think still has the experience share on him. So, anyway, we have the Knuckle Badge, which means we can now level, uh, level 30 Pokemon with Bears from trade. We can use HM of something Flash. Now we get TM, I've forgotten already what TM it is. Uh, which is brick, a uh, bulk up. But there we go, there's the three who took down uh, Brawly, and we can now head on uh, onwards. So we're still got another six minutes of recording, which, yeah, I remember now we go on and do the route above um, Slateport, which I can't remember what the route's name is. Uh, I think it's route. Let's see. Um, Route 110, is it? Route 110? Because Route 109 is this route, we're not out. I think Route 110 is the route above it. So it's gotta be, anyway, Route 110. And so I'm being completely stupid, and it's not. It should be Route 110. And, well then we can... Um... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it was Route 110. Um, an Emerald you can meet Birch there. This is different. It's really different in Emerald. Um, I will do an Emerald playthrough. I keep referring to Emerald because I'm so much used to Emerald because I have an Emerald, an actual Emerald in, you know, instead of just a ROM of Emerald. I've played it a lot, so I know a lot of it. Whereas in Ruby and Sapphire, things are different, um, so I don't 
quite know what I'm doing here, really. So, but I know the basics, like I know this person's going to have a minor amount puzzle. So, I'm... Uh, I go for a... Uh, I have a mud shot. And, um, and tackle. I don't know why I went for tackle. I should have just gone for mud shot. <coughs> um, and mine, um, I'm, mud, I'm gonna mud shot it. Really, it's just so simple. Really, this is embarrassing that, that, well it's not embarrassing, it's just really depressing that Mudshot, I think Mudshot should have done a bit more damage, but then again I suppose I'm only level 17 at that point. So, I have to face this girl, and, which is annoying, because up front I've got Pedro. So I swap into Feather, and he does the job with a wing attack. I don't have any f do I have any? no I don't, I need to get some female Pokemon. And I will do by part seven what six or seven, I will get a female to the roster. And I will aim for my last two Pokemon to be female. Because I want to you know, not to my team not to seem sexist. Um anyway I get scarred spec. Which I will be selling I believe I sell it anyway in yeah, because I need to get Zigzagoon items, because Zigzagoons, the Zigzagoons do have items. Not chips though, he has the silk scarf. Um, alright, anyway, we got to face off against now, who are they? These twins, they have a, a fossil and a mine in themselves. Oh, that's me coughing, I coughed. Um, but you probably won't hear it, because I will quieten that down. So you can't hear the cough, because that actually annoys me that I'm coughing. Um, during a video when I'm post recording, so a uh, post recording, yeah, I'll we'll call it post recording, commentary, yeah, that would, I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, I completely obliterate the that mine. Um, and Pedro goes to level nine. How did he grow to level nineteen? Oh, Roselia must have given up a lot of it. experience up to him. He's level 19, when he was only level 18 like 5 seconds ago. Um, this guy has a skitty, and not only are they really difficult to train, but they are annoying to face. In this one, it was a 50% chance for me hitting it with a headbutt because of the attraction, and boom, it hit. Um, which is great. Um, <coughs> okay, now I'm coughing myself in post recording. Um, anyway, that's a magic card. That's a tentacle. And uh, he has another magic card. It's nothing too impressive, really. So, anyway, this is. Episode's nearing the end of. Well, it's just nearing the end. So, um. In the next episode, I will be continuing with the game. Um. I will be going into the Trickmaster's house before going on to face May and whatnot. So, anyway, this has been the Moonshiny 99. Thank you for watching.